Now, in zone 3 injuries or for other injuries, there are further modifications. One is regarding how the fracture pattern is. Okay, The fracture pattern can be U-type. The fracture pattern can be H-type. It can be Y-type. This one, it can be Lambda or even a T. Okay. Now, all these are for not a pure vertical fracture. Now, in many of the sacral fractures, it is not that the fracture is only one, like how the Dennis classification tells us, right? So, the fracture line can have multiple orientation, like we have a vertical line along with the transverse line or a vertical line with an oblique line going to the opposite side. So, all those happen and that just adds on to the instability and hence, uh, this uh, morphological classification where you talk of the how the pattern is U, H, Y, T, Lambda. So, you just describe the uh, fracture. So, this tells us that there is a transverse element also uh, or an oblique element also in addition to vertical element. Okay. And Roy Camel, what uh, the classification, what it tells us, it, it further classifies zone 3 injuries. Okay. That is the medial fractures, medial to the sacral foramen. And these are uh, CT based classification and it tells us what has happened on the uh, CT. Okay. So, it divides into basically three types. The fourth was a modified uh, Roy Camel classification, which is added on later on. So, the type one is there is a fracture and only an angulation, a kyphotic angulation. In type two, there is an angulation along with that a uh, retrolysthesis, that is a posterior displacement of the proximal spinal uh, column. A uh, type three, we have an antrolysthesis with the angulation. Type four, there is no angulation, no lysthesis, but there is an impacted fracture, a comminuted or an impacted fracture of the, the sacral, uh, one of the sacral bodies. Okay. So that is the Roy Camel classification, which is a further classification of type 3 Dennis classification. <music>